Hi boys and girls. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing for the art project for this week. So I went out and I grabbed a bunch of different things from outside my house earlier this week. So I went out and I got a couple different leaves. I found a pine cone. Oh, cat's trying to get up here. I found some moss and I got some bark. So what I'm going to do with these things is I'm going to make a print of it. I'm going to kind of stamp it down. So we have some stamps in the classroom. So you know that when you dip it into the ink pad and then you put it on the paper, you can see whatever's on the stamp, right? So I want to do that with these leaves and all of the different things I found outside. So maybe you have sticks or rocks. These are just some things that I picked up because I wanted to see what it looked like. So I'm going to show you two different ways. So I know maybe you don't have paint at your house. I'm going to do it with paint. I have pink paint. I bought it on sale at Michael's a long time ago. So I have some pink paint that I'm going to try painting these afterwards. But I know that all of us, Miss Becca, Miss Nicole, and Mrs. Howie and I, we all sent you some Play-Doh, right? We sent it in your packets. So you should all still have some Play-Doh at your house. So you can pull out your Play-Doh and you can try doing this at home. So you can take a walk around outside. And even if you don't want to do it with a plant, you can find something around your house and see what the print looks like. I want to see what print these plants make since we're working with plants. I want to see what I can see when I smush a leaf into it or the pine cone. So I'm going to kind of separate this into a couple different pieces. So let me count actually. So I have a lot of bark. So I have leaves. So I have one, two, three, I have four different things. So I'm going to make four blobs of Let's move my paintbrush so I don't get paint on everything. One, two, mm, that one's gonna get kind of small. Take some from out of here. Okay, so I got four chunks of Play-Doh. So I'm gonna smush them out. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna take my small leaf because this is a little bit small. And I'm going to just smush it into my play-doh so you can see i made my ball and then i just took that leaf and squished it on there so if you smush it down we're using it just like a stamp so i'll take it and if you look really closely it's smushed right down on there we can peel it off you can see really closely it shows you the pattern on the leaf so those things are called veins it's just like how your veins in your body bring you blood all around. The, those veins in the leaf bring it water to keep it alive. So isn't that pretty cool? So that shows all the veins and stuff in the leaf. So we can do that with the moss. Let's see what the moss looks like. Moosh that down. You can see my moss is all smushed onto the Play-Doh. Oh, uh oh, that might not come off. Uh, might have gotten, that might not have been the best idea. Ah. Uh, so that one's a little furry and I have a little piece stuck on there, but you can still see that my moss looked pretty furry, right? Oh. So that kind of looked like my moss, right? That one made a mess, but kind of fuzzy, right? Mm. So sometimes maybe it doesn't work. Trial and error. So throw out my moss. Let's try the bark. Let's see what piece looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this one. It looks like it has some nice ridges on it. So we'll see if we can see what that looks like. Flatten this out and smush the bark into it. So you can see the bark. Pull that out. You can 
see all the ridges and everything in it. Pretty cool, right? Then we'll try the pine cone. So what do we notice on the pine cone? Is it smooth? Or is it bumpy? It's bumpy, right? So we'll be able to see all the bumps probably. So we'll take that. Push it in just like our stamp. Pull it out. Ooh, that one might be my favorite. Look at, you can see all of those little bumps that are on the pine cone. Isn't that super cool? So we can see the pine cone, all the little bumps. You can see some of the bumps on the bark. Oof, the moss didn't really work, did it? And you can see the shape of the leaf and all the veins. Wasn't that cool? So doing it with Play-Doh was a little bit different for me. I've always painted, like painted on things and then put it on, onto a piece of paper. So usually this works best with like leaves and flowers. So I probably, I'm not going to paint onto my pine cone or my bark, but I'm going to paint on my two leaves and I'm gonna stick them on the paper. So if you wanted to do this with Play-Doh, you can probably use all different kinds of things and press them into your Play-Doh like stamps. Um, you can also use leaves or flowers and paint with them, which is super cool. So I'm going to take my paintbrush and my paint and I'm gonna put it right on my leaf. So if you don't have paint at home, you can still do this because we have Play-Doh at home because we were sent it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my paint on there. I used pink because it's what I have. Use whatever you like. I like pink. Maybe you don't. Up to you. So I have, I painted my whole leaf, except for the stem, because I wanted somewhere to hold and not get paint on my hands. And then I'm going to take it. I'm gonna put it right here and smush it with my fingers. Right onto my paper. It's actually sticking to my paper. If you look at it, it's stuck. So I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna pull it right off. I'm actually gonna, I'll make my big leaf and then I'll show you what it looks like. You can actually see all the little parts of the leaf. It's really cool. So I'm gonna paint the big one and I'll show you what it looks like. I have paint on my table. I better wash it when I'm done. You might want to put down a piece of newspaper or something underneath when you're painting because I didn't do that. So that is a mess that I'm going to have to clean up afterwards. All right, so I painted my whole big leaf too. So I'm going to put that, I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right kind of down here. And smush it all down everywhere. I'm gonna pick that one up because it's not sticking as well. Ooh, really cool. So I'm gonna pick up my phone. I'm gonna move you right over. And you can see all the little veins and everything right in there in those leaves. So that's pretty much what it looked like on our Play-Doh too. So you can paint on flowers and on leaves. It's really cool looking. So if you have paint at your house, you can do that. If you only have the Play-Doh, it still shows all of those veins and stuff like I did on here. So it's really fun to do. So if you wanted to try this, I would love to see any of the paintings. If you want to show me what happens when you put it in Play-Doh, I want to see that too. So uh, any of your projects, I want to see pictures or videos. All right. Enjoy friends. I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Bye.